Hi guys, it's me again, and today I'm gonna to be adding a hose bib to the irrigation system. Now the house plumbing and water service line are all copper, but in the yard it's PVC with steel risers embedded in concrete for the hose bibs. To tap into the steel riser, I'm going to use a dielectric union to prevent corrosion. So I'm gonna change out that bell reducer to a T. The reason I'm not connecting to the underground PVC is that I don't want to have to dig an even larger hole and it doesn't cost much more to connect it up here. You can always connect it underground if you want to though. Next, I soldered up a copper riser to connect the above ground pipe to the underground line, which is three quarter inch PEX. The above ground part is half inch copper because copper is a much higher flow rate than PEX and it's much shorter. And I'm just soldering it up using some Climate Smooth brand soldering flux, as well as just some regular lead free plumbing solder. Though this is after the irrigation backflow, so I could use leaded if I wanted to, but I don't have any. Now to transition from the above ground copper to underground PEX, I'm just screwing on some PEX adapters and crimping them on. If you don't want to buy a crimper, you could use push fittings, but they're not reliable and quite expensive. So I always recommend buying the proper tool for the job. To finish this end of the pipeline, I just assembled the dielectric union and tightened it up. Then I replaced the top section of the hose bib riser. So we still have a hose bib here. So here's the new pipe run. It's about 50 feet and I dug the trench about a foot deep. Since this is just for more yard water, it doesn't really matter. It just needs to be deep enough where it won't be damaged by regular landscaping. The soil here is very hard, so the trench took all day to dig. This riser, which is for the hose bib itself, will be anchored to the post of the deck. So I soldered on some elbows onto a piece of pipe to get around the deck's footing. Then I'll use a drop ear elbow and a hose bib at the top, which will be screwed to the post. So I crimped on the PEX to the copper pipe just like before and now I can solder on the drop ear elbow. This elbow is very thick silicon bronze so it takes a lot of heat to solder it. If you want to do this yourself you definitely need a real professional torch. Those cheesy little homeowner ones just don't get hot enough. To install the hose bib I just wrapped some heavy duty Teflon tape from the supply house on it and screwed it on. This hose bib is really good quality. It's so much better than the cheap ones from homeowner grade hardware stores. It's just solid red brass. It's really good. It's Arrowhead brand. And now we are done. This was really easy. The hardest part was probably digging the trench. Oh, and those blue screws I added to anchor it are not concrete screws, even though they look like it, but they're actually wood screws with a flat head meant for this application. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you on next time.